Hey, I'm Dave Asprey, host of Bulletproof Radio, and I'm wearing something pretty amazing. What would happen when you went to the doctor, they got your blood pressure, and then they weighed you, and then they took eight minutes to measure your brain and say, that's weird, your brain is not running the way it did last time you came in, something in your system is off. Well, it turns out this is a reality. The Wavi headset that I'm wearing is a result of more than six years of technology innovation, and they just came out of stealth mode. And I'm here with Paul Sorbo on the show, and we actually talk about how you are going to be able to get your cognitive function score. It's different than the full neurofeedback side of things. This is just a checkup. Hey, how good is my brain at sorting out things that I see? How much energy does it take? How much electricity does my brain generate? You can get this very quickly, faster than you could at any price 10 years ago. So the world is changing. And when you go to the doctor and say, I feel like crap, and he says, oh, I don't believe you, those days are done. It's like, I got my numbers. I don't just feel like crap. My numbers are crap, and I want you to help me fix it. So this is something that is going to liberate you to come in and say, I feel off, and I know I'm off. I'm going to not just turn myself back on. I'm going to turn myself up. you got to have the data to do it. And the Wavi headset in this interview with Paul is going to blow your mind. So, Paul. Given that you guys are nearing 100,000 brain scans in your database and it's only going to just explode from there, what are some of the things that you're already able to tell just by looking at people's brain waves? What we saw is, comparatively speaking to a normative database, your brain's really fast, your voltage is performing phenomenally. And now what we can do is we can compare your data as you age. And hopefully as we continue to grow the database, what we're going to be able to see is maybe early onset Alzheimer's, early well, onset maybe not. Dementia, or not. <laughs> and as you're continuing to perform, we can boost, or practitioners can boost that performance. Okay. Uh, so with this set of data, and, and you guys don't do the diagnostics, but when you go to your doctor and say, wow, something's way off on my brain, you're actually going to say, not only is something off, you fit this cluster. Hey, doctor, go check this out. So the doctor can perform a diagnosis with a really rich data set, but just like 23andMe, right? this is my brain data, and I can say, wow, this is what I, where I'm strong. This is where I'm weak. Oh, it turns out, in my case, there are two different things. I'm performing like a 20-year-old in my 40s. Woohoo! But where am I slow? Do I want to up-train that? Is my voltage low? Do I want to train that up? So this is sort of like going to the gym and saying, oh, I'm weak on my right side. It's exactly what it is. Is my voltage low? Is my speed low? Is this a chronic condition? Is this an acute thing? We have the ability to intervene and we can continue to see what we can perform on or improve on brain performance metrics. So this is the difference between going to the doctor and saying, I don't know, I'm tired, and they say, oh, maybe you should just try harder, or maybe you're crazy, or maybe it's your fault, or maybe you should, you're a malingerer, which so many people have heard, or, hey, doc, <laughs> my brain doesn't make electricity. You want to help? So this takes it from the realm of blame to the realm of control. Exactly. So Dave, what we're looking at right here is your raw EEG waves. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do your first test. And what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you sit still with your eyes closed, relax as possible. I'm going to actually have you listening to a series of sounds. And there's going to be a common sound and then there's going to be a random high-pitched tone. Okay. Whenever you hear that high-pitched tone, what I want you to do is I want you to click the mouse. Just click as fast yep, as I click can. Click as fast as you can. Right, we're going to be it. measuring physical reaction time, but we're also going to be measuring how your brain responds to that uncommon tone. All right, let's do it. Here we go. Hit the start or something. The first test here was really cool. All I had to do was sit and listen to a bunch of beeps that meant nothing, just waiting for one that was useful. And as soon as there's a useful one, you press the button on the mouse. And it's neat because the reaction time when you press it, so it's sort of boring, 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 and then ah, and then boring, boring. And, well, that speed of ah is useful. So the next one we're going to look at is going to be your flanker test. And what we're going to do is we're going to see how your brain processes congruent signals versus incongruent signals, as well as how your brain's voltage is visually stimulated. So what I'm going to have you do is look, there's going to be a couple of arrows that are displayed. The only arrow that I want you to focus on is the center one. And it's either going to point to the left or it's going to point to the right. Okay. Whichever way the arrow is pointing, what I want you to do is click that designated click the left or the right, you know, button. The or the right. right button. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, so this test, what you're going to do is you're going to use the touch screen and you're going to press the numbers and letters in numerical order. 1A, 2B, all the way through 13. Just so have to remember the A and the B order. Yep. Okay, and I want to do as fast as I can. Fast as you can. All right, so 1A, 2B, 3C, 4D. All right, got it. That was it? No, I, nah. I, I, I real, real test. test. I'm guessing. Okay, start. Okay, this is actually hard. Uh, that's 1A, 2B. Now, oh, where's 3? So annoying. 3C. Three, 
And you distracted me. Was it F I was going for? G. <laughs> This is, the, this, is the, this is called the. This is called the trail making test, and it's a measure of how quickly I can look at a big field and I can pull out the right letter and the right number, and I can remember the one I'm looking for, in order. So I, I'm counting up through the alphabet and counting up through the letters and just touching them on the screen. And the more you do it, the more lines form, and the more visually kind of stressful it is. So it's a frustrating test to see how fast my brain can solve this problem. If your brain is sucking, you won't do very well. And if you don't believe me, get super hungover and do the Wavi test. And you're like, oh, <laughs> maybe my performance varies on a day-to-day -day basis. It also varies on a month-to-month -month and a year-to-year -year basis. And if you compare it to everyone else, like, oh, I have a super brain, or maybe my brain needs work. And if so, did it change? And if it's going down, that's bad. If it's going up, keep doing what you're doing. And that's why the Wavi stuff is so exciting for me. So I love this test. Right, let's talk about what you can actually do with this. Wavi gives access to data that's never been accessible before in such an easy platform. We have the ability to show someone how their brain is aging, what their metrics are, and so that we can compare it to themselves and or the database that we have to make sure that someone is improving and that we are able to monitor that brain function. Can I use this on my kids? Absolutely. Sweet. This cap is part of my new starring role in Tron. Okay, not really. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Wavi cap, and this is a new type of neuro scanning. It used to be you'd have to go inject radioactive sugar dye and you still might need to do that or you have to go and get this clinical grade hundred thousand dollars sort of thing. But what if you wanted a really fast, really informative comparison to say how's my brain doing now versus how it did a while ago? This is basically blood pressure for cognitive performance and this is game changing because it's going to allow everyone out there who says I don't really feel great but can't measure it to measure it and then go to your doctor and say, uh, I got something going on here, this isn't all in my head, or actually it is all in my head, but it's real. Uh, 10 years ago, if I asked you what you were gonna, you know, how do you know that you're getting Alzheimer's? You have no data to look at. Now what we have the ability to do is if we have year over year scans for someone, we can continually compare their data and we know if the brain's slowing compared to where they should be. We can take it to TBIs and concussions and we can look at things that we can compare against the baseline and all of a sudden we see that there's an issue, an acute issue, and we know exactly when that brain voltage has returned back to normal. There is such power in this data. In this interview, I got some really cool data and compared to a very large database, all that stuff, that bulletproof lifestyle, the things I'm doing, the neurofeedback, mitochondrial enhancement, I really do have the brain performance of a 20 year old, which is awesome. Well. What does that mean for you? In this episode, you're gonna figure out how are you going to know what your brain's going to do in the future and what it's doing right now so that you can own your brain the same way you own the way you look physically and the way you perform in the world.